Hello Melon Bars! Today I'm going to show a pretty simplistic video basically ranking the, in my personal opinion, some of the top biggest just creators and ranking them on if they're god, fun, uh, my, your typical Michael coding, simply bad or make your whole Mugen game crash. So, we'll go by the first creator, Nightmare. Um, Nightmare is a bit hard to decide because if I'm not mistaken, this guy makes his own sprites. Um, and his characters are really fun. But he uses your typical Michael Broken Code, so I guess I'll put him in fun. Uh, I think his character uh, has great effects. They're super, fu super fun to use. Um, but yeah, not, not uh, God coding. Uh, next we have, I think his name was Mog. Okay, so next we have Mog. Um, so Mog, I would say, is somewhat fun. But I, I don't know. With his characters, I don't feel like he has anything too special or too unique about him. And the other problem is he uses your typical Michael code, so I guess I'll put him in Michael. Um, okay, next we have Paint Tube or Incept. Now, this is pretty easy. I would put him either on Michael, either on Fun, because uh, he uses your typical Michael code, uh, or some, some of his characters are really fun. But he actually started to make his own codes, and ugh, this is hard. So, well, judging by his latest character, Kirito, if we judge it only by the Kirito character, and we judge it, let's say, from now on he will uh, code uh, only his own codes, this is pretty easily God. Now, he can still improve, he can still be better, but considering the fact like comparing him with everyone else who usually steals Michael codes, this is God. Like, there's no argument. Next we have... Planktoon. I definitely said that correctly. Um, so, unfortunately, he uses Michael codes as well, but he's probably one of the like fastest and most fun characters to play, I would say. He doesn't feel broken whatsoever. His characters usually do feel balanced and the effects and everything is probably one of my favorites. So it's a fun character, most definitely. Next we have Sala Uchiha. Sala Uchiha is great at uh, making effects. I think he has one of the best effects. So he will rank uh, higher than Michael Codes, I will say. He is not God tier whatsoever. Uh, he uses your typical Michael Codes again. Uh, so I guess he's on fun. Next we have Taipai. Is that how you say it? Um, with him, it's kind of hard to decide because on the other hand, his characters do feel broken as hell. On the other hand, uh, they're fun to use. But on the third hand, he uses Michael codes. So I honestly don't know where to put him. It's actually hard. So uh, uh, I don't know. There are not so much balance. So it's either Michael, either fun. Uh, damn, I honestly don't know. You know what, you know what, Michael, only because uh, when you compare him to these guys, like, his characters do feel a bit broken, so I guess it's on Michael rank. I mean, he's trying his own thing, which is good, but again, like, when you really compare him to these guys, he's just not there. Uh, next we have TTA. This is easy. Um, his latest Goku just is simply fun. I mean, I wish he had an ultimate, but fun character, like, there's no argument, he's easy god tier. He uses his own codes, uh, he always builds his characters from zero, so no. Uh, question is though, is he better than Pain Tube? Um, this is, um, well, uh, 
I guess it depends how you look at it, because Pain Tube actually has an ultimate, uh, as in D7 special, TTA doesn't, but on the other hand, TTA uh, characters and everything, animation-wise, is just way more fun and better to look at. So I would say Pain Tube is a bit, uh, is a bit, yeah, he's on second place. Uh, TTA, I would say, is still first place. And then Vinia Shua Sonic. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, here's the thing with him. Some of his characters are somewhat fun. And most of them crashes your uh, whole Mugen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he goes into the crash. Or trash. As most of his characters simply crashes your whole Mugen. So here's the thing. You can make a complete garbage character with completely broken codes. It can lag your Mugen, it can simply like be broken and everything. But at least it, it functions, right? At least it exists, you can play. With him, usually his character simply crashes your Mugen, whole Mugen. So if you can't even play the characters, then yeah, you're complete trash, I'm sorry. Uh, so this was my ranking. If you guys want me to rank any other characters, obviously feel free. Uh, sorry, if you want me to, if you want me to rank uh, maybe individual characters, let me know. Thanks for watching my Limbards, and I'll see you in the next video.